So for ackee and saltfish, you're gonna need, of course, ackee. Today I'm gonna use um, the ackee in the can. And first thing I usually do is drain the water off. After it's drained, I place it in a container. Because these are the canned aki, I usually just boil my water and pour it on instead of boiling it in the pot because it gets softer real fast. And I'll leave this on it for about two to three minutes. And next, you're gonna need salt fish. I use um, G.O. Green Ocean Salt Alaskan and this is filet and I am going to boil this and I will boil this for um, maybe two or three times until it's no longer that salty you're also going to need some onion thyme hot pepper scallion and tomatoes yes tomatoes that's how I grew up learning to make ackee and sawfish with tomatoes no bell peppers and um, chopped garlic bell peppers give the food a totally different flavor that's not authentic Jamaican ackee and sawfish in my opinion everybody cooks differently so hey you taste it, it's um, pretty much not the same. So yes, these are all of my seasonings for my ackee and sawfish. Ackee and sawfish is really simple to make. So let's just follow the process. After a couple of minutes, you're gonna drain the aki. You don't want to leave it in there too long or else they're going to get mushy. See, drain it. Salt fish is still boiling. I'm going to boil it one more time. And then tear it apart so to make sure it's not that salty. So after your salt fish is cooked, we're going to run some cold water on it. And take it apart. Take off the white skin part portion and clean it up. And I'm gonna leave it to drain. Drain off all the excess water. And I'm eating a saucepan with some oil. I use vegetable oil. And I'm gonna add my chopped seasoning to the pan. When my oil is hot, which it is now. So I'm gonna saute this. I'm gonna add the drained salt fish. And I am gonna cook it or rather saute it until it's my tomatoes at least are really cooked so you don't taste um, that sour taste that tomato has when it's finished cooking I think that's one of the reasons why a lot of folks don't use tomato in their ackee and sawfish but there's a specific way to cook it so you don't taste all that sour taste of the tomato 
and that way is to cook it a little longer like your seasonings a little longer so I have um, cooked this for like little less than two minutes and I'm gonna add my salt fish so I'm gonna mix everything in it up together so after cooking for a good three minutes covered is what it looks like now I'm gonna add my aki so you see you can hardly see my tomatoes there pretty much cooked out. Add my aki. And with a fork, I'm gonna mix it in. And I'm gonna add some pepper. <coughs> Oops, blurry, some peppercorn to it. And then cover it and leave it on low. So it's mixed in. And this is what it looks like. So this is what my ackee and saltfish looks like when it's finished cooking. Everything is pretty much cooked. And I like to shake my butt. <laughs> and that's it. So this is cooked. I had just covered it and just leave it, let it simmer on low. So that's what it looks like. That's how it's done. That's my way of making our national dish. Jamaica's national dish, ackee and sawfish. It's quite simple. There's nothing hard to ackee and sawfish. It's like one of the easiest dishes to make. So I've paired the ackee and sawfish with some avocado, dumpling, and sweet potato. I am going to enjoy this. So this is what my ackee and sawfish looks like upon completion. And this is a real Jamaican dish right here. For breakfast, you can add some fried plantains uh, or some fried dumplings. But either way, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, it's a great meal.